Alright, so we're gonna dub this Roosters real quick. Uh, this this past cold front that we had, uh, he had some frostbite on his comb, and I don't want him next year to have the same problem. So we're gonna dub him and you know have him ready before he gets too old and it gets a lot thicker and a lot harder. It'd be more painful for him. You see my radio down there? They're already too old. I think they're too old to get dubbed. <laughs> so I don't want to have that problem with this one. All right, that's the final product. I think we did a good job. Boy was holding it. He really didn't, didn't struggle too much. So what I did, uh, we just put some... Uh, Cotton balls, a little bit of alcohol. As soon as I cut it off, I just kind of put it on there. Put alcohol on it, on the wound. That way it wouldn't get infected. Then on top of that, we went and put some flour to help it coagulate a little bit. Make it a lot, make it heal a lot faster. Help them heal a lot faster. And, I mean, it's a painful, uh, not a painful process. I wouldn't say painful. But, I mean, it does hurt them. I'm not going to lie. But it's a quick, it's a lot faster then a, a lot less pain than if he was to have frostbite. It's gonna be a lot easier for him to eat, a lot easier for him to, uh, yeah, to eat and drink water. Uh, and I think I read somewhere that it helps him, uh, what is it called? Fertility. fertility, yeah, for fertility purposes too. So we're gonna put him on the Tycor real quick for about a day or two. Once he gets, uh, once he dries up a little bit, we're gonna put him with the hand, with Karen. That's what he named them. That's we're gonna put him back, breed him back to his mama, and see what happens. You know, see. Hopefully they come out. Hopefully they come out good, and we'll see. You know, say hi to the camera, you know. <laughs> yeah, boy, help me hold him real quick, and you know, after that we're good to go. And I'm gonna be also doing those. The ones I have in the tie cords out here. I'm going to be doing this one here, uh, this guy here, and this one here. Those last three red ones are brothers, believe it or not. This is what they look like after. There he goes in the tie core. He's already strutting his stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's him. This one here, they're brothers. This one came out yellow legged, that one's green legged, and this other one over here is green legged too. This is our radio and hatch cross. So, this is before, and I'm gonna show you the after. What's up, buddy? Alright, so we're all set. I put him in this kennel. I put him in the shade. That way he won't bleed too much. Let's stop the bleeding. That's man. I'm not gonna be able to tell them apart now. <laughs> That's one of them. I stopped on this one. I figured he, he bled. This one here bled a little too much. So I just did the waddle. I mean the the comb. So I'm gonna I'm gonna save this for next time. Once he heals up, makes up some of that lost blood, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish him up. But that's it for now. He came out straight, real clean, real clean cut. And this one over here too. I put him in the shade. He's still. There he goes. Came out real clean, but once uh, they heal up, I'll take a picture of them. Thanks. <laughs>